In August 2002, Sony will expand the entertainment horizon of the PlayStation 2 by introducing the network adapter, allowing you to connect to gamers across the country for online play. And if you're anything like us, you want to know all about it. So we thought we'd ask the folks at Sony a few questions. People have very high expectations of what a, a networked console should offer them. So really our philosophy is to try and offer exactly the same very visceral, challenging experience that they've had offline and really carry that into the online space. The great benefits of online gameplay is that you move into this new world of infinite possibilities. The competitive environment becomes a lot richer and more intense because it's dynamic. Now you're playing against real people, um, whereas before you're relying on, you know, AI-controlled opponents. So we're adding a new dimension to the overall PlayStation 2 entertainment experience. <laughs> No one has really offered before uh, a one-stop solution for people to have internet connectivity in their games with a single device. The network adapter consists of both a, an analog connection as well as an ethernet connection. So if right out of the box, if you have an existing ISP that is narrowband, the phone cable, you can take that, use your account, and be able to play the games online. If you already have a broadband connection or later you decide to upgrade to a broadband connection, you can do that as well. At launch, we want to offer a play for free model so all of our consumers can enjoy content for free besides the cost of a retail game, but there are no additional fees associated. The network adapter also includes a coupon for a free copy of Twisted Metal Black Online. Many of our users have their own ISPs and we want to be able to ha give that flexibility that they continue to use their own ISPs and be able to play their games without having to register for a Sony account. We're really offering the consumers the maximum amount of choice as to how they access the content and the kinds of content that they want to play. consumer wants to join an online game, uh, all they need is the game itself. Once you connect to the internet using your PlayStation 2, you will go to a lobby that's individual to that particular game. If you take frequency, for example, you would enter the frequency lobby and you can see who's online and who's playing and you could choose to either join a game or host your own game. launch, the games that Sony will have available are Twisted Metal Black Online, SOCOM, US Navy SEALs, and Frequency. And then later down the road with ATV2 Off-Road Fury. We've received great third-party support, including Sierra's Tribes Aerial Assault, a first-person shooter from IDOS called Time Splitters, the Fame franchise from Activision, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, and we're especially pleased that we have the online console exclusive of Madden NFL 2003. You can check the demo out on the startup disc or see the full retail version close to the launch of the network adapter. The number of players online depends on each individual software title. So for example, in SOCOM, you could have up to 16 people playing online um, in one game. In Twisted Metal Black Online, you can have eight players in a broadband game or two players in a dial-up game. A very important feature is text chat, but we also have voice chat, being able to communicate with the other player that's sitting in another state by voice. A new don't cross the water. You won't make it across. Oh, dead man walking. Hopefully in the future we'll have video chat as well. The developers are looking into being able to download a new level of games and new characters. Just think about having an extra special level that you only can get it online. Down the road, we really think that the tremendous opportunity uh, is to really place PlayStation 2 at the heart of a new broadband experience for the consumer that will comprise much more than just video games and online gaming, but also will involve movies and music and the ability to download photos, to create photo albums, and be a complete online entertainment experience.